Hello, everyone, and welcome to the eighth episode of SMD Viewpoints. We have me, Karen, the M in the group, uh, married, and we have the single lady, Kimberly. So, everybody. Awesome. Also, our divorce lady, Jackie. How y'all doing up? today? Okay. Hey, Kim. Hey, Kim. Hey, y'all. Doing pretty good today. Uh, you know, hanging in there as usual. Okay. Okay, good. Well, this episode, we're going to go into the topic of um, angry Black woman, the angry Black woman syndrome, or how you, how Amy how black strong black women are perceived so we're gonna start mm -hmm. off with uh, um uh, what is the syndrome so kim's gonna tell us a little bit about what when they caught when they're talking about an angry black woman so kim and share with us what you found out okay so what i found out is the definition of a angry black woman is a stereotype it is racist in American society, society that portrays black women as sassy, ill-mannered, and ill-tempered by nature. Uh, related concepts are the sapphire or sassy black woman. Within the stereotypes of groups within the United States, the angry black woman stereotype is less studied than the mammy or Jezebel, um, but potentially because researchers accept it as true. So, they'll study being a mammy or Jezebel, but not the angry black woman because it's just accepted as that's how we are. Mm. 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 That's interesting. Right, that bullshit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's very interesting. You know, and that, that gets me the mind in, of um, Tyler Perry portraying my dear. Now mm. she is the, stereotypical angry black woman mm. you know so and, and just what you read or just what you researched kind of reminds me of of that and a lot of people have talked about Tyler Perry portraying my dear as the angry black woman and there's mm. a lot of people out there who we see or who we or a lot of people can say is the angry black woman mm. um what's the tennis player uh, Serena, Serena. Yeah, Serena. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, she's portrayed. She's portrayed as that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. in 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 layman's terms, you know, I would see it, or I would hear it as being sassy, or mm -hmm. being mouthy, or with the neck rolling and the pointing mm -hmm. of the finger. You right. know, that's that's you know, I never knew. Like you said, it would be portrayed as like racist. It could be a racist. Oh yeah. Type of thing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That that's when it comes out. You know, anytime we we are um passionate about something or mm -hmm. or they perceive us as angry when all we are we're just stating our truths and, and how we truly feel. And 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 we tend to be want to be heard. So it sounds like it's passion. And it's just that I, I believe that um um when they use that term or feel that, that it can be um very racist because you mm -hmm. wouldn't tell all these Karen, all these other Karens that's running around here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't call them angry, angry, right. angry right. people. You yeah. know, you know, we get labeled that when we're just trying to stand up our truth. And a lot of times, our truth is true. It's true. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get you to understand. This is how I'm feeling. You cannot change anything. This is what mm -hmm. I feel. You can't tell me how to feel. But you know, and you know, and you can't allow these other Karens, Lord, I don't know how they chose my name. Your name, right? <laughs> <laughs> but they did. <laughs> but it, it, I mean, you know, it, it, it just, um, yeah, it's just, it's very interesting. So I would consider it very much racist because I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm not angry. I just have right. um, something to say and I want you to listen and I may mm -hmm. raise my voice up a little louder and it all comes in I just found out uh, in my family, my father's side said we're all loud. And I'm like, that's why I'm so loud. My children say, mom, you are so loud sometimes. I'm like, mm -hmm. well, that's how my, my brothers and sisters are. We are right. we're together, right. we're just loud. And it's not nothing like that. We're loud and laughing and no anger going on. We just mm -hmm. want to be heard. And I think, you know, we want to raise our voice to be heard. 
the children. I want to be like, one to say, hey, I got something to say and I have to be louder than you in order to be heard. But yeah, I really think it is a, a racist term, you know. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned, Serena, she would get it all the time. But a lot of time it's her passion for the game that she has mm -hmm. and it's her mm -hmm. fighting with herself. Mm -hmm. you know, right. It's not, sometimes it's directed out there, but a lot of times it's just how she's expressing herself. They didn't like mm -hmm. her making loud noises. They, but this is how she playing her game. She mm -hmm. playing her game within herself, within her mind. And of course, with the um uh, uh, the opponent too, but mm -hmm. this really is more about ourselves and how we express ourselves. And if they would just understand, we're not really angry. And after mm -hmm. the game is over with, she's angry that she lost the, the match. She's angry that she may have lost the game, but that's because of something within themselves. That's the passion mm -hmm. that's in there, you know. But yeah, I, I truly believe, yeah, they use the term as, as racist and mm -hmm. it's not fair, not fair at all. Right. Well, I think they use that term too personally because when other colored women are strong and passionate, they use, that's not the word they use for them either. It's that B-I-T-I-C-H word. Mm -hmm. So they figure you can't be running up to too many black women using that B-I-T-C-H word and ain't no fighting finna go on. <laughs> so due to that, oh, you know, let's, let's, let's coin it something else, less offensive so I won't get my head knocked off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I think right. that's why it's used too because you're not, and many of us don't, we don't like that word. Let me come up and you call me no B-I-T-C-A. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because because I'm passionate or because I won't let you run over me and because I stopped you in your tracks. Yes, because I don't want to hear that BS. I want you to come to me and come to me correct. And if you don't come to me correct, okay, then yeah, we finna, we finna make it happen, Captain. Mm -hmm. You know, and get it straightened mm -hmm. out and get it fixed. So if you want to call that angry black woman, then yeah, I'm going to roll my neck and I'm going <laughs> to do whatever. But mm -hmm. as long as you get to the point where you understand what I'm saying, and that this is going to work this way because that's the way it's supposed to be, then we won't have that issue or that problem. Hmm. Right. I think there's just another form of um, the term gaslighting, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. you know? And, and that's going to be a, a topic, you know, because I, I got a book coming out, y'all. So that's going to be one of yeah. my, you know, one of my chapters, you know, gaslighting. That's just a form of gas. Oh, you angry, you know? Just... It, the thing is, I may roll my neck, <laughs> I may point my finger, you know, or whatever, but I'm just trying to get my point across because honestly, you took me there. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you, you're not listening or some people are not listening to what you have to say, but that doesn't mean I'm angry. That means I'm just passionate about trying to get my mm -hmm. point across. Right. You know, that, that doesn't mean we're angry. And, no. Right. You know, no. Mm -mm. We we just want, to and that's just because we are um, part of the um, in the in the spectrum of people or what have you. My life in in the spectrum, you know, you have white men, white women, then everybody else between them, black men and black. We like at the bottom, you know. We just want to be heard. We're like we at the bottom. Mm -hmm. We support all these people above us because mm -hmm. we, we aren't right. always angry we're very supportive people because mm -hmm. we want to prove to you that we got this we're smart enough we educated enough we don't mind mm -hmm. doing what to do you know yeah. I, and i'm talking about even for for like when um uh, um our ancestors were the maids already the maids mm -hmm. and, and and taking care of the the, the household and the slavery, you know, they took care of the babies mm -hmm. and everything else. We support everybody, but we the last right. one to come. So we just like, we just want to be heard. Just right. hear, hear me out. I'm not mm -hmm. always angry. I just want you to hear my point. Now, if we right. both calm down and we can talk um, intelligently to us, but act like you listening to me, you know, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. That's all we ask right. you to be listening. Right. So don't label me as angry. No, that, that's not even fair. You didn't give me a chance. So when mm -hmm. I raise my voice, now you scared. You know, right. I'm, now I'm angry. I'm, I'm, right. I'm angry. Right. But you know, but you know, in the you know, in the last couple of years, we've seen these these other Karen's just just do whatever they want to do and think it's okay. But they're right. the angry ones. 
you know right we we try and reason we don't we don't want to we don't want no smoke we don't want we don't want to do nothing we just right. want to be heard we just want to we just want to be heard just that's want it. to be heard just want to be heard that's it so yeah mm -hmm. I, I, that 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 was that was pretty good so as we talk about um um in terms of them using the the phrase angry black woman I just really um, see that us as strong black women as mm -hmm. part of the topic. We're just strong black women. We we take care of our family, our children, our friends. We work hard at our jobs. We want to do our jobs with ex ex excellency. You know, mm -hmm. we want to be the best. And um, so we have to be strong about that because we have so much on our shoulders. Mm -hmm. Even though our mm -hmm. black men now we don't they have they take a whole lot more you know they they go through a whole lot more than what we have but we have to be strong mm -hmm. to when they come home and say they're hurt they're angry we're there to support them so right. instead of calling us angry call us we are strong black women because we have held up mm -hmm. a many of things a many of right. things a many of persons right. we do a whole right. lot more we go the extra mile even when mm -hmm. You call mm -hmm. us angry. We still are there to say, okay, I'm going to bite my tongue and I'm going to do what I have to do. And I can still make you look good, but I, I didn't like how I had to go about doing it, but we don't want to have that, that, that worry of we're, we're angry. So mm -hmm. um, as we consider ourselves strong black women, do you see that in your, um, in, in relationships or, 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 or at the job, how do you perceive yourself? Um, I'll take on that question for the first part. Um, in my job, I believe that I have to be a strong black woman. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm pretty much in the managerial role. Mm -hmm. So everyone comes to me and, um, I have to be able to make, you know, quick decisions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the wrong decision could be, you know, detrimental. And I don't want to say too much because, you know, I do have a lot of my coworkers as, who watch this podcast. So, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I do have to kind of be strong and I have to basically um, tell people what to do. And I have to do it in a way that they respect me. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't deviate from that mm -hmm. because once I lose their respect, that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, so I have to let my voice be heard. And I have heard, you know, through the rumor mill at work, you know, she's a B-I-T-C-H mm -hmm. or, you know, she thinks she's all that or, you know, all that other stuff. And, you know, you know what? But I am on it. So <laughs> because I wow. think I know my job and I do a damn good job at it. Mm -hmm. So but I I do feel that I am a strong person when it comes to my job now in the relationships. We'll come to that in the third <laughs> segment. We'll, we'll get to that after Kim, you know, if they yeah. are. And, but you know, we'll but also that. in the term <laughs> at work, being a strong black woman, you are. Why can't we just be a leader? I am just a good leader. Mm -hmm. No woman, no no color to it. I am just a leader. You are a leader, and that's mm -hmm. just it. You are a leader, and that's what a leader is supposed to do. They're supposed to tell you the higher stuff. They're supposed mm -hmm. to. To, to say the hard stuff and they're supposed to keep you in line mm -hmm. now if not then i mean you're not leading you're not you're not right. showing anything you know you, mm -hmm. you i mean what's the point then then that right. Right. will walk all over you if you mm -hmm. can't stand up and say no you're not gonna do that no i'm mm -hmm. not gonna do that because as leader we can give and take you know who who mm -hmm. you can give and take with because that yes. is your role to learn how to handle everybody can't handle you know, Bobby probably can't handle to be the be be um not told what to do. Some people uh -huh. have to be told every step, right? But you um, know, yeah. but Susie over here may make may got your back and, and going to mm -hmm. support you. Mm -hmm. So you have to learn the different ways to to lead people as well. So not calling a strong black woman, just you are you are a leader, you are mm -hmm. a good leader and, and take it in stride. But these mm -hmm. names and but that's just part of, I guess society we gotta have right. a color right. we gotta have a gender why right. can't yeah. be no gender and just you do a good job as a leader and be done with it. thank you thank you so much yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well for me i believe uh you know i've been told i'm bossy mm, well. uh, yeah, not, 
I own it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. I knew y'all was gonna chime in. Thanks. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think a lot of it just has to do with work ethic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's got to be done. Mm -hmm. And even if I wasn't in a managerial position as just a worker, I work to get it done. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you can't. What what were we told? What if what if you've always been told? I know your parents probably said it to you, your mother, that you've got to work ten times harder. Yes. Than any other race to just mm -hmm. get acknowledged. Mm -hmm. And so being that being instilled, when I go in, I'm going in to get it done. Mm -hmm. And I'm not one. I don't like people hovering over me and telling me what to do either. Mm -hmm. You tell me what I need to do. And that's that's my goal. That's what I'm striving for. That's what I'm going for. And I'm knocking everything down to get done. Mm -hmm. So that's just me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if is I don't think it's just my personality type. It doesn't make me a angry black woman. You know what I'm saying? That's just my personality type. When you tell me something or I know it's a job that needs to be done, we knocking it down till it's done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just it. it. Whether I'm the boss or I'm just the worker. We knocking it down till it get done. When my part is done and I'm not the boss and somebody else need to take over at that point, I got you to where you need to be. If I'm the boss, we done knocked it down till it was completely finished. So, you know, I don't I don't consider that angry. You know, that's just, we just got to get it done. Just got to get it done. Got to get it done. So. Yeah, that's, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. You right, yep. Yeah. And, and that's what we were taught. We are working bees because this next generation is wholly different than us, you know. Right. They right. work yeah. as hard as us, and we no, like. Not at all. I mean, but but let me back up. But to an extent, they, right? They mm. but they do do things. They have taken the phrase "work smarter than harder." I, right, I that's true. Hear yes. Some of them mm -hmm. is that, but I have had some jobs where you like they don't work as hard as we work either. You know, mm -hmm. I get to be right. smarter. If you can do smarter, then tell us how to do it. But then there's just sometimes when they just plain lazy. Right, don't, right. You know, work work as hard as work as hard as we have we have worked. But um, but to be strong um is just in 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 our um personality because we're taking care of ourselves and have to mm -hmm. take care of others. And yes, mm -hmm. I've heard the label bossy or tell me what to do. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, I have to tell you all the time, you ain't my boss, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's embedded, you know, it, I, I get it. I get it. But I'm like, you You either want the stuff done, you just want to uh, push mm -hmm. people forward or what have you, or, 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 or be there, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, I take it. But I'm not angry about it. I'm, a, right. you know, I'm not angry about it. I just want the job done because our ethic is do a job and do it well. Mm -hmm. Do a job and do it well. And we have to unfortunately right. prove ourselves all the time. And we want to prove that, hey, we got this. We are mm -hmm. smart enough and we can do this. Right. You know, um, so, um, but, and in relationships now, I have to say, um, um, being strong with is meaning being supportive. So a lot of times you support what goes on, whatever dreams mm -hmm. are. As a wife, I am, the Bible says I am his helpmate. So I, I'm there to help. I'm mm -hmm. there to, 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 um, to, to lend my opinion and also to let them, hey, I'm here to support you and lend my opinion. But I always tell my husband, okay, not, but this is your decision. Here go what I think the, the, the pros and cons are, but I'm gonna let you make this decision. And then there are just times where I'm like, no, I'm going to help you along to make the right decision or make the decision that makes best for, 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 for us, you know, mm -hmm. for our family or what have you. But as a, um, but there was a point when everything I thought was about me and whatever I wanted. And, you know, that, that's the struggle of being in, um, mm -hmm. being single and then coming together and you have to learn how to Right. I understand that I don't have to be that strong woman that I've always had mm -hmm. been. And I can learn mm -hmm. how to say, okay, it's your role. And right. it did. Let me tell y'all the past couple of years. Yeah. Okay. What you think? All right. 
whatever mm-hmm. you say, and I'm okay. going to help you along if I don't like it. But there was a point where it's this, 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 this. But now I know, hey, wait a minute. I don't have to do that. Just relax. Mm-hmm. Just trust. He said you, he got you. He got me. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. You know, you know, and so now it's in the support system. You know, we support. I don't have to say, but, you know, I still do what I want to do. And then there's that reversal, I'm support you. But I don't have to say that I'm always strong. But there was a point in the in, in the beginning where I want things my way. But that that's just that thing of I have been single for so long, you know. You right. know how to shit. Yeah, I know. You know change, yeah. Right, right, right. It's like, I know. Oh. I know. <laughs> And I don't have to do everything myself. So, right. oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So in the past couple of years, think some things have changed and roles have changed and, and opinions. And I'm like, okay, that ain't even necessary to argue over, you know. Right. Do you boo and, and come on back, but but let's communicate. Communication is still the key in all of things. Right. In all right. Things. Communication is still the key. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I um got some things to say about that like when I was married um I think I took on more of the role as the stronger person not taking any anything away from my ex-husband but you know I was the one that pretty much made a lot of the decisions and he allowed that and you know mm-hmm. and that was okay so I think I was stronger in my marriage than I am now, now that I am divorced, because I can tell you now it's, and and I have to get away from it um, because now in some of the relationships that I have had, you know, I just let them do whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they say they're gonna call me, you know, tomorrow, whatever, they don't call. And, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. You know, then they'll call two weeks later, you know, ghosting or whatever, mm-hmm. and they'll call two mm-hmm. and, I, and I'm okay. Oh, okay. Well, you know, babe, I had to do this, 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 and that. You know, and I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. You know, right. So, right. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and I'm learning to get a little bit better at not allowing mm-hmm. that to happen. I think I went from one extreme to the next. I, I was on 10 when I was married, but now I'm like down to two. So mm-hmm. I have to learn how to balance that. You right. know, you don't want to call me in two weeks. That, that's on you, bro. That's it. Yeah. I'm going to move it on. I'm, I'm going to move right along. Mm-hmm. So I have right. to learn how to be a little bit stronger in my dealings with um, situations. I'm going to call mm-hmm. them situations. Right. Um, right. That I'm, you know, that I'm in or that I choose to be in. So mm-hmm. that's, I, that, like I said, I don't really think I'm strong in relationship why I'm strong in my job you know I can I can you know tell people what to do just like that but when it comes to a guy you know no nah. so mm-hmm. it'll, it'll get better oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. and that, and that's just setting your um boundaries of what, what you mm-hmm. say is acceptable and letting people know mm-hmm. and letting people know what uh we got 10 minutes uh and let okay. people know what your boundaries are you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. it's just now mm-hmm. you just have to be strong and say you know what now this is it you told me you're gonna do this and you didn't do it mm-hmm. now, don't think i'm just sitting around here i i'm exactly. for that i'm done doing that mm-hmm. I'm right. you know right. up front because um i feel that um if you ladies that are single if you just would um um had I known it, because we've all been there, we waited and waited and waited mm-hmm. and waited, but to set the boundaries, because now we're we're older. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, I don't need to be hanging on, waiting for you, or <laughs> thinking you're going to do, mean what you say, and do what you say. We're yeah, going to mean what you say. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, and do what you say. And, and, mm-hmm. and if, if I'm not number one, okay, let me know that, because we're grown. We're grown. Right. Thank you. Right. And you know, that's my favorite saying, Right, say what you mean, mean what you say. (laughs) That's my favorite Mm -hmm. saying. So for me in relationships, I think I'm a Gemini. I I go up and down. So I might be hella with one person and and they can't get, you know, they just be like, damn, can you, 
can I please? <laughs> can you let me in and you know and let me be the man? And then I'll get with another dude. And then I'd be like, well, damn, please, can I get <laughs> something I won't be done, you know? So I think uh, that me, I, I'm strong now, but I don't stay in stuff long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, because I believe in, uh, you know, I keep telling y'all the Bible say do on some others since they would have you do on some <laughs> So you're not calling me? Okay, then now I'm not calling you. So uh -huh. and whenever if we see each other again and they, we ain't got to explain, you just, we just, if we start back, we yeah. start back. And if we don't, we don't, but uh -huh. I'm going to keep it pushing. That's always, that's always been me. I'm going to keep it pushing. So you might have me, you know, slow down for a little bit, but when I say it's just a little bit, it's a little bit. Cause even totally in love with somebody else, I will keep it pushing that's just me so i you know i've had my moments again where i've gotten with guys and and i had to slow myself down because i feel like i'm about to railroad them and just run over them you know and i'd be like him stop <laughs> you know what i'm saying let you know mm -hmm. let them and it's not i'm on, i don't want to say let them be the man but at least let them get a word in edgewise you know what i'm saying <laughs> and then i'll get with somebody and i'll i'll let them you know just take over and, but now I'm mad at me. I ain't even mad at them. I'm mad at me because I'm letting them take over. So, mm -hmm. and they only got so long to do that before that's over with too. So, you know, I, I think I just need, I always say I need a balance because I'm either high or I'm low. Mm -hmm. And I, I, it's hard for me to get a medium. And, for, and you would think by now I would have a medium, but I don't. So I'm either high or I'm low in that's just the way it is. But I'm working, I'm working on getting a medium where I cause because I believe when you get with a with a spouse or or a man or be in a relationship with somebody um that can I don't want to say handle you, but understand you, mm -hmm. it takes a burden off you. Mm -hmm. And when that burden is lifted, you don't feel like you have to be strong. You're not mm -hmm. weak, no. but you mm -hmm. don't feel like you have to be strong. Wow. And that's a thing, Jackie, that's the balance that maybe you need to get to where, you know, you're not weak and you don't have to be super strong. You just have uh -huh. to be where you get an understanding and that they have an understanding uh -huh. of, you know, you need to treat me this way in order for me, you know, to receive what you're giving to me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that's it. That's uh -huh. what I'm telling. That's in any relationship telling anybody yeah. how I need to be treated. That 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 is all all relationship. That's the boundaries too. This mm -hmm. is how you're gonna treat me. This is how I'm not right. gonna let you. You can consider mm -hmm. me an angry black woman if you want to, because I have boundaries. No, you're right. not gonna treat me that way. I'm not taking that mm -hmm. from you or nobody right. else. And then there and then there's the balance with our significant others. It's like okay, and like you said, know me enough to receive, know what I need, and mm -hmm. let me relax in knowing that you got my back. Right. I don't have to worry about it. And that's mm -hmm. where I'm at now in the marriage. It's like, okay, you know what? I ain't got the, I ain't, I ain't got the, right. what the right. you gonna make? Let me think about it. And then sometimes he have to make decisions on his own that he'll have to deal with, you know, mm -hmm. that, that right. I know is not going to devastate us or what have you. So, right. so now, mm -hmm. but, but let me have my opinion. This is what I think. And if you take it, you take it. If you don't, you don't. But I know we're not going to falter or, or fall out or, you know, or mm -hmm. anything's going to fail. But there are just times where you just have to, like you said, I'm at that point where it's just a balance now. I don't have mm -hmm. to. Like, right. You, know, so whatever, you, you, don't, you don't have, you don't feel weak and mm -hmm. unempowered and you don't feel like you got to take over. You know wow. what I'm saying? You're, yeah. you're at that point where he can handle yeah. it. This is this is our comfort zone. I can mm -hmm. let you, as they say, and, and I hate using that frame, let you be the man, but I can let you be the man and handle the manly things that men are supposed to be able to handle without feeling like a weakling. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, but also, and, and I feel empowered by your decisions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, good. Okay, ladies. I think this was a um, very good conversation, ladies. I do thank too. You for, thank it you was. for um, coming to join us all tonight. Um, uh, we'd like for you guys to like, share, comment. We really need you guys to engage with us. 
Um, we're, we're, we're out here. Uh, we might not be consistently every week or what have you, but we really do need you to, to, to speak to us, to give us encouragement or ask the questions or have us some topics. Cause we're, we're trying to grow here and we're just sharing our um, viewpoints or our opinions, or we'd we'll love to have a conversation. And if you just want to come on our show and be a part of it, just let us know. Just SMD viewpoints at gmail.com or did we change it? I think that's what it is. Yeah, I think that's still it. Yeah, we I mean, yeah. If not, comment below and 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 we'll email you back or we'll talk. We'll find some way to talk. Or Facebook. Like, yep, yeah, subscribe, go on Facebook. Um, so you know yeah yeah you know let us know come in and 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 talk with us so we know what you like and what our audience needs to hear from us but we appreciate mm -hmm. you guys thank you for listening We're glad you made it to this point but this is the end of um this episode thank you for joining us and we'll be talking to you soon peace i holla oh.